Good morning, St. George's Primary School. It's good to be with you again this week for collective worship. It's Father Clive Hamilton from the Salford Hall Saints team here. Last week, Father Daniel talked about a very important part of Jesus' ministry and how he healed people. And you heard a reading from the Gospel of St. Luke from the fifth chapter. And this week we're looking at another important part of Jesus's ministry. And this was the way that he taught people, his teaching. While Jesus was on earth, he taught people about God's message through stories called parables. And these might be called heavenly stories with an earthly meaning. And the story we're going to hear today is about the Good Samaritan. It's about a man who has been attacked on a road to a place called Jericho. And the story is found in the 10th chapter of the Gospel of St. Luke. And I'm beginning to read at verse 25. The story goes like this. A teacher of the law came up and tried to trap Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must, what must I do to receive eternal life? Jesus answered him, what do the scriptures say? How do you interpret them? The man answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and live, love your neighbour as you love yourself. You are right, replied Jesus. Do this, and you will live. But the teacher of the law wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, who is my neighbour? Jesus answered, there once was a man who was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when robbers attacked him, stripped him and beat him up, leaving him half dead. It so happened that a priest who was going down the road, but when he saw the man, he walked on the other side. In the same way, a Levite also came there, went over, looked at the man and walked on by on the other side. But the Samaritan who was travelling up that way came upon the man. And when he saw him, his heart was filled with pity. He went over to him, poured oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own animal and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day he took two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Take care of him, he told the innkeeper, and when I come back this way I will pay you whatever else you spend on him. And Jesus concluded, in your opinion, which one of these three acted in an acted like a neighbour towards the man attacked by the robbers. The teacher of the law answered, the one who was kind to him. And Jesus replied, you go then and do the same. So as we've heard in the story from Luke's gospel about the man who was injured, the first two people, the priest and the Levite, crossed over to the other side of the road and continued on their journeys. They didn't help the man who had been injured. The story doesn't tell us why they did this, but we would normally expect them to help. They might have been worried about being attacked by robbers, that maybe the same people that had hurt the man might hurt them. But maybe they just wanted to reach their destination without delay and they just didn't care about the person who had been injured. We could ask if the priests and the Levites had the right attitude. And unfortunately, the, as we probably can guess, the answer is no. In this story, Jesus uses the example of the third person, the Samaritan, to show the right example. He's the person who came along and helped the man. He did this 
make people think about the attitude towards others, their neighbours. Jesus was making it clear that the person who may help somebody may not look like the person that we expect is going to offer help. First appearances may surprise us and things may be better than they appear on the outside. If I was going to show you this, I might give you an example of a DVD, a film that we could watch. Now, if I put this film up, it's called The Tango Lesson. You might look at me and say, Father Clive, I don't want to watch that film. It doesn't seem too interesting. But if we open the cover and look inside, it's actually a film called The Incredibles. Now, you might like that film a little bit better than the last uh, the tango lesson. So when it comes to what's on the outside, the thing that's inside may be slightly different. And the same is true of people. People can be the same. What is on the inside of somebody in their heart and in their thoughts and the, the way that they will act may be entirely different than their appearance. So maybe we could think about who our neighbours are and the type of people who we might be concerned about, how they may act differently. Neighbours could be anybody. Our neighbours could be people in our school. They could be people on our street near where we live. They could also be other people in this country or indeed people living in other countries. So, we're going to have time for reflection in a short while. And the thing that we'd like you to think about is the commandment from Jesus, which we heard in this reading from Luke, which is to love your neighbour as yourself. So maybe you could write some words on a piece of paper, maybe write a poem or a prayer or do a drawing, an image that lets you think, that shows the way that you could think about who your neighbours are and what we might do to show our care and our love for our neighbours, those people that we might not necessarily know, but that we could look after. Before we go, I'm just going to offer us a prayer to maybe help us to think about that act of loving our neighbour and looking after others as we look after ourselves. So the prayer goes like this. Dear God, we think about Jesus' teaching on love. To love God, love others and to love ourselves. Please help us to take practical steps to show our self-care, self self-kindness and self-compassion. Help us today to be more loving to ourselves so that we can show and share that love and kindness with other people. Before I go, we'll say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So St George's School, it just leaves me to say goodbye and wish you well for the week ahead. Stay safe and remain positive and work well as best you can this week. And Father Daniel will see you next week. So take care. God bless. Stay safe.